I'm Lalit Vasist and you're watching Engineering Made Easy. Today I will discuss what are the vectors along with its definition. We will also see a few daily life examples of vectors and how the vectors are different from scalars. In this lecture you will also get an idea about a unit vector. After that, I will tell you different kinds of uh, operations that can be performed on vectors. These uh, operations come under vector algebra. These operations include addition, subtraction, and multiplication of vectors. So, let's start today's lecture based on vectors. But before starting the lecture, I want you to subscribe my channel by clicking on the red subscribe button so that you can get notification of my videos whenever I upload them. So let me start the lecture with the introduction of vectors. So let's write the definition of a vector. What is a vector? A vector is used to represent a physical quantity that uh, has both magnitude and direction. So what is a vector? A vector is used a vector is used to represent physical quantity represent physical quantity that has both magnitude and direction both magnitude and direction so any vector has a magnitude as well as direction any vector has magnitude and also direction both so, few examples of uh, vectors, some physical quantity that are vectors are velocity, this represented by velocity vector, force, represented as this, F electric field intensity represented by this E and many others etc. So as you can uh, see these uh, vector quantities have uh, an arrow to indicate that uh, these physical quantities have direction associated with them along with the magnitude here you will uh, you should also understand that uh, for example this uh, f vector represents the source and the force vector i mean here see you can see this F vector represents the force vector. It means the force vector. Okay. While the F represents the magnitude of the force vector. This F it represents magnitude 
of the force vector. So this is the force vector and this representation is for magnitude. So we have a vector, you can say an arrow over this magnitude to make it a vector. But so also this uh, f vector tells us how much force is applied in magnitude along with the direction of its application. But uh, what are the scalars? Uh, let me introduce you scalar term. So what are the scalars? So what are the scalars? Scalar is a physical quantity that has uh, only the magnitude. It does not has any direction and its examples are first of all let's write the definition. Scalar is a physical quantity Scalar is a physical quantity that has only the magnitude that has only the magnitude. It does not have any direction and no direction clear so examples of this uh, are scalars are mass okay, electric charge volume okay volume energy energy, electric potential, etc. Okay, so these uh, all have only the magnitude but no direction. Okay, clear? So now we will see how to represent the vectors okay the representation of vectors how these vectors can be represented so let's understand it this is the representation of vectors this is a vector pointing towards north direction here this vector points towards south towards east and west these are four vectors are represent these are representing in the directions of uh, north east south and west you can also have uh, many vectors like uh, it represent in north side direction here it is representing in south east here south west and north west so we can uh, have a vector in any of the direction and two more directions are also there here if we represent this vector this vector is in the upward direction upward means coming out from the uh, surface from this paper and if we represent it as uh, like cross then it means 
downward vector it is going inside the surface inside this paper so these are the representations of vectors and one more thing the length of the vector represents its uh, magnitude it means uh, the length means if the vector I have two vectors this is vector A and here I have uh, another vector B so the length of these vectors represents the magnitude here it is having more length so its magnitude is higher and than this B vector also we can see and these a vector and b vector are not same in magnitude magnitude of uh, a is more than b and also the direction of a is not same as of b so neither the magnitude nor the direction are same for vectors a and b if any vector is uh, one more important thing that you must know here that uh, if any vector is moved in a space parallel to itself then it does not change what does this mean it means if I have uh, any vector like uh, suppose uh, this vector this is vector a so if I move this uh, vector a in any direction like uh, here just to uh, see my sketch how I'm moving it if this is a vector then moving this vector in this direction or even on in this direction upward vertically upward or vertically downward or left or right it does not change but it changes when we rotate this vector okay so moving this parallel to itself or even uh, moving it forward or reverse in reverse direction it will not change so we can either move it forward reverse right upward downward even up and down in this way also perpendicularly it doesn't change but don't rotate it it will change otherwise so this vector this vector or this vector if it is parallel these all have equal magnitude so we can even also move it upward or downward so these are the same vectors okay but if this vector is is rotated then the direction changes and the vector changes so if this is vector a and if I rotate it in this direction then it is not equal to vector A okay also if um, magnitude is uh, changed then also it uh, changes okay so we can say for two vectors to be equal it is necessary that uh, their magnitude and direction both must be same so equal vectors we can say equal vectors have same magnitude and direction both okay so now let's uh, talk about unit vectors what are the unit vectors As clear by its uh, name, a unit vector has a unit 
or we can say one magnitude a unit factor has unit magnitude okay unit vector has unit magnitude actually a unit vector has the direction of the main vector but it has a unit magnitude its direction is same as that of the main vector okay unit vector is nothing but uh, simply the ratio of the main vector and main vectors magnitude so how it is the ratio if uh, a is any vector then unit vector that is uh, unit vector would be represented as if I represent the unit vector of a then it would be represented as that vector a divided by the magnitude this means the magnitude the magnitude of vector a so unit vector of any vector is can be defined as the ratio of that vector and its magnitude so from this we can say that any vector can be obtained by multiplying the its magnitude with its unit vector so these two are very important relations you should keep them in mind so how to represent them graphically if uh, this is any vector a then the vector unit vector of this a would be something like uh, this and its magnitude would be equals to 1 would be equal to 1 so it has the same direction as that of this vector a but it has magnitude equals to 1 so only the magnitude is 1 but the direction so you can write it here that direction is same as of vector a but has unit magnitude okay so keep it in mind these uh, unit vectors can be represented in uh, various ways there are various uh, notations for representing these unit vectors these uh, notations are we can represent it as if any vector is a vector corresponding to this vector a we can represent it as this or this this or this u a so there are various ways of representing these unit vectors so unit vectors are very important in the analysis of uh, field problems these are used in the analyzing field problems after this we will see different kinds of uh, operations that uh, can be performed on uh, vectors these uh, operations come under vector algebra so operations on vectors
so there are various operations on vectors like uh, this commander vector algebra okay so operations are like addition and subtraction addition subtraction and uh, the multiplication you can say the product okay so for uh, doing these two operations of uh, addition and subtraction there are two techniques two laws we can add or subtract the vectors using these two laws these are the parallelogram law and triangle law parallelogram law and triangle law and for multiplication we have uh, uh, total uh, four kinds of multiplications first is a scalar another is vector and uh, third one is a scalar triple product and fourth one is triple cross product so a scalar product scalar it is also known as dot product okay second one is vector product it is also known as cross product okay the third one is a scalar triple product scalar triple product and the fourth one is triple cross product okay so these are the four kinds of uh, multiplication products and we will see these and uh, these are the these are the types of multiplication products and these two are two ways to laws of adding and uh, subtracting the vectors so to keep the video lecture short i will cover these vector algebra operations in the next separate lectures i think it's uh, enough for today if you liked my video then please subscribe my channel engineering made easy and also like and share the video to help me spread the useful information thank you for watching bye bye